While most of Florence's attractions cluster together in the old center, a short bus ride takes us to a much-loved medieval church. Set on a hill overlooking the city, it makes it clear there's more to Florence than Renaissance treasures. For a thousand years, the Church of San Miniato, still part of a functioning Benedictine monastery, has blessed the city that lies at the foot of its hill. The church predates the Renaissance by several centuries. Its marble facade, dating from the 12th century, is a classic example from the Romanesque period. The perfect symmetry is a reminder of the perfection of God. And the eagle on top, with bags of wool in his talons, reminds all who approach the church who paid for it, the Wool Guild. Stepping inside, you enter the most exquisite holy space medieval Florentines could create. The carpet of marble actually dates from about 1200. The wood ceiling is repainted, showing off its original color scheme. This 14th century golden mosaic shows an earthly king offering his paltry secular crown to the king in heaven. Visitors are welcome to attend the sung mass, chanted as it has been by Benedictine brothers for centuries. In the adjacent sacristy, 14th century frescoes show scenes from the life of their founder and inspiration, Saint Benedict. Benedict is shown as an active force for good, busy blessing, preaching, and chasing the devil, until that day when he slides up the ramp to heaven. Benedict was the founder of the Benedictine Order, a vast network of over a thousand monasteries that eventually gave Europe some cohesiveness in the cultural darkness that followed the collapse of Rome. That's why Benedict is the patron saint of Europe. Well, San Miniato comes with commanding Florentine vistas. The nearby Piazzale Michelangelo, marked by its towering statue of David, is the city's most popular viewpoint. Crowds line the terrace, enjoying the cityscape of Florence. From here, you see the Arno River dividing the town center and the Ultra Arno district. Landmarks like the Ponte Vecchio and the city's beloved dome designed by Brunelleschi. It's a fine place to reflect on your Florentine visit.